Sunday fun day time, guys. First off, real quick. These are not my watches. These are other people's watches. I'm connecting the buyer and the seller. You're the potential buyer. The people that sent these in, they're the seller. I work with you. I supply all of the information. You follow the very simple, easy to follow instructions and you will make a smooth transition. I've done this many times. Just do exactly what I say and it works out great. So I prefer USA shipping. I'm not opposed to shipping outside the USA. Just keep in mind that you're looking at probably a $50 price tag for the shipping and then whatever other fees that you may have to pay for your country. So just keep that in mind. That usually puts the watches more expensive than you're willing to spend. That being said, we're going to have to slam through this. We have 16 watches. They're all incredible prices. I forgot to get the price on the, uh, the one watch. I'm just looking at my notes. So I will add that. It'll be down in the description. If you're new to this, I know we're already a minute in, but really, I mean, watch the video so you can kind of see what kind of conditions the watches are in. But you're going to want to look at the description down below. Once I launch this video, I will update it near real time. So you'll see if it's pending sold, which means it's pretty much sold, or sold. Um, don't email me if it's sold. If it's sold, it's gone. You're not getting it. Um, only email me to buy it. Don't email me to ask questions because I'm you're, you're not going to get answers. Like, I'm going to move to the person that's actually buying the watch. All right, let's blast into this. First up, Helm Van, Van Vattel, I think. I don't know. I, I'm bad with the Helm names for some reason. Titanium watch, great watch. Um, I'm super drawn to titanium. However, it is grade 2 titanium and there's no coating on it, so this thing is scratched up. It has been worn. You can clearly see that in the video. So if you buy it, don't freak out. You already know. It's been worn. Um, it comes with a box, comes with the extra links, all that. It, it fits on my seven and a quarter inch wrist right now, but um, lines up, runs good, plus nine seconds, only $300 for a titanium helm. Awesome, awesome deal. Excellent loom on those too. All prices do not include shipping. Shipping is extra. Shipping will end up getting paid to me. I give you all that information. It's very simple to follow. Degas, Thunderbolt, one that you don't see very often. This is a little bit smaller watch. I think it's 30, is it 38? Yeah, about 38 mil. A little bit longer lug to lug though. Like 47, 40, yeah, almost 47. Still wearable. Has a nice H-Link bracelet. You can kind of see it definitely has some wear marks on it. Now this does have some sort of coating on it, but it is still wearing through some of that. But overall, great watch. Automatic, date, very cool watch. Um, running plus three seconds. This one will be $265, $265. Next up, we have a bunch of quartz today, guys, so we'll be able to move quicker through those. But this is called the Seiko Sawtooth. I don't know the actual part number. I didn't write it down. Um, definitely has a lot of wear on it. It does have a couple extra links, but it, right now it fits my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's a used watch, guys. It definitely has some marks. And even, was it this one? Yeah, I think it was this one. There's even, I noticed there's some stuff underneath the crystal on the bottom side. Probably from whenever somebody changed the battery or something. Um, there was some debris got in there. So you might want to like take it apart and clean it up or whatever. So keep that in mind. It's priced accordingly at only $150 because of the wear and because there's some debris underneath the crystal. $150. Another titanium watch. The Citizen Mont Blau, Mont Bell uh, CB0171-97E is the part number. Again, titanium. It does have the uh, Citizen proprietary coating on there to make it more scratch resistant. However, there are some scratches on this watch. Mostly on this leading edge on the bracelet. The rest of it, fairly clean. I don't see anything that upsets the... Uh, value of this too much just a little bit over here uh, awesome watch these are technically limited edition as well and this is going to be the best price you're going to see on it three hundred dollars so awesome awesome watch i'm very tempted with this one myself but i uh yeah i tried to leave the sunday fun day we got a little domino action going there um which is okay those are already scratched up so it ain't gonna matter um laurier falcon version two this is the sought after waffle dial one Nice gilt colorway. Again, worn watch. Has some scratches on the flat bracelet here. You can see 
bunch of them there. You could easily clean this up with a scotch brite if you wanted to. Uh, a couple of scratches on this side. Usually it's on this, this side over here on the 12 o'clock side. Case is pretty good. There's some marks on the bezel here. So keep that in mind too. Uh, a couple of marks here and there. It's definitely a worn watch. This thing runs good. Uh, plus 10 seconds, so still running good. $325. $325 for the... Laurier Falcon version 2 waffle dial sought after. Uh, not this one. This one. Seiko SRPA41. This is a big boy one. It has that really cool concaved case. Nice factory Seiko strap. I think I have the boxes for these. Um, this guy here is... I couldn't time graph it. The case is too darn big. I could not figure it out. So what I did, I set the time on this and then just tracked it with my phone. And it seemed like it was keeping good time. I mean, but I only was able to track it for like a couple hours. So I don't know what the deviation is on it, but it seems like it's keeping good time. That's all I can say about the SRPA 81. Uh, 275 on this one. 275. Next up, this one's going to be a killer deal. So it's going to be for people that know. It is a Seiko Sportura GPS Solar. Again, has some decent scratches and marks on the bracelet here. I do have a couple extra links, I think, for this one. But these are super cool grab-and-go watches. A little bit bigger. I, I have not done a video on this, and I probably won't. Um, it's about 44.4 case and a lug-to-lug -lug of about 53 and a half almost. So keep that in mind, a little bit bigger. But we're going to do this one for $350. That's a killer deal for this watch. Go look them up if you don't believe me. That one's called a SSF. So Sam Sam Frank 003. Another quartz titanium. Yeah, we're, we're playing with the higher end stuff here now, right? The Breitling Aero Evo. The Aerospace Evo. So this is the current generation. 43 millimeter. Titanium has a couple wear marks. If you look around at titanium watches, this is going to be typical wear. Don't freak out about this. This is your opportunity to buy a Breitling Evo Aerospace for $2,300. Incredible deal on this thing. Love this watch. Okay, $2,300 plus shipping. Keep in mind, shipping is going to be a little bit more on that one because you're going to have to pay higher uh, insurance and stuff like that. Next up, SRPH11. Technically a limited edition. I know it's not running. This is a leftover from another sale, but um, I did time it back then and it was at plus five seconds. This is number 2002 of 8,000. Yeah, if you can call it 8,000 limited edition. It's on a Clockwork Republic's fitted end link strap, FKM rubber. Also comes with the factory silicone. There's no box with this one, but it does come with extras. So the Clockwork Republic is awesome. It has the factory strap that's brand new. And it comes with this very well-matched Zulu, NATO, whatever you want to call it, strap. So you have a couple extras with this one. Uh, like I said, running plus five seconds, only $300 for this one plus shipping. So killer deal on a good Seiko Samurai. Next up, this is the one I didn't get a price for, but it's probably going to be pretty cheap. It is the Scurfa Treasure Seeker Topsider in the Tiffany blue color with a white strap. So just look down below for the price. It's going to be dirt cheap because these are pretty inexpensive to begin with. So very cool grab-and-go quartz watch either for you, maybe for your spouse or something like that. Because it, it is the 40 or 41 or whatever. They do have two different sizes, but this wears small, guys. It's 39.35 wide, but if you do the side-to-side -side with the bumpers, it's 41 and a half almost, but it wears really small. So keep that in mind. If you're looking at this one, it's not 40 or 41. It wears more like a 38, maybe. That's what it wears like. Okay, price down below. I forgot to figure out a price on it, so I'll figure it out. Next up, another heavy hitter, Zodiac. Z0929 Super Seawolf, again, limited edition. Vanilla scented rubber straps. Very nice. This one is number 315 of only 500. It's running at plus three seconds. 
Also comes with extras. Comes with an orange and a green Zulu, NATO, whatever you want to call them, straps. Also comes with a Tropic style Zodiac strap. Love these Zodiac straps. They're super comfortable. And the orange one looks really cool with it and some sort of aftermarket butterfly clasp system. But you could put a regular tang and buckle on there. If you don't want the orange strap, let me know because I do want it. So I was pretty much going to go to Zodiac site and order this one. So if you don't want this one and you want to buy this watch, I think you should just donate the strap to me. I don't know, just thinking outside the box here. So that one is $800 for the complete kit. These straps are not cheap, guys. They, Zodiac charges like 100 bucks for these straps. So keep that in mind. That's a hell of a deal. All right, next up, a Stratton, Stratton, excuse me, Yacht Timer Racer, Yacht Racer, something like that. Nice blues, oranges, colors on this thing. Very cool colorway. Beautiful strap. It looks like it's suede, but I don't know if it is. And then it has those stitch marks there. Really cool looking watch. Um, I probably will hold this one back and do a video, so be patient with me on that one. I'm going to need a little bit of time to do the video before I ship it. Only $150 for this. I can't remember if I have a box for this. I might... Yeah, no, I have a box for this. There's the original packaging for that. $150 for that. It's crazy. It has a Seiko Mecha Quartz in it. Okay. Some really affordable, fun watches here for you guys. Luminox. So I have the Luminox XS3053F. Uh, this is like a... Kind of like a... I think it measures 42.8, but because the bezel's so inset, it looks smaller and wears a little bit smaller. The dial's small. So if you have a smaller wrist or you just like smaller watches, this Luminox is going to be your ticket right here. This, this one's going to be incredible deal i'm going to do it at 90 dollars. that's insane guys 90 dollars. it's basically brand new doesn't look like it's really been worn much at all so 90 bucks on this thing uh, next up luminox uh, luminox um xs3501 i think that's this one uh, this would be, if I were going to get a Luminox, I'd probably do like this if I were going to get in the, in the uh, Carbonox material. Otherwise, I'd go with a stainless steel. But this one has a nice rigid, I think, titanium case back here. It doesn't really say, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's stainless steel. It might be titanium. Um, and this guy is like uh, 45 millimeter. A little bit bigger, but they are light, so they wear really good. Screw down crown, all that good stuff. This thing will be $130. $130. Next up, a Recon Sea Lion. Something a little bit different here. Swiss movement probably has similar movement to what the uh, Luminox uses. This one's a stainless steel coated. Still has a sticker on the back even. Uh, nice fitted rubber strap or silicon strap actually. 120 quick bezel. Has some uh, blue tones printed in the dial hands and on the bezel. So very cool fun watch. Screw down crown, 200 meter water resist, all that stuff. 100 bucks, $100 for that one, plus shipping. And then the last one is this Luminox XS3053, all black motif. This is a 43 millimeter. It's a little bit smaller than this one. It's hard to notice it, but it technically is a little bit smaller. Also, these older ones like this have a push-pull crown. I know some people are like, oh, all Luminox have screw-down crown. No, no, no. The earlier 3050 series had a push-pull crown. They did not have a screw-down crown. But they still, I think, claimed uh, 200 meter water resist. Um, we'll do this one for 100 bucks. So it's still in great shape. Everything's good on it. 100 bucks. No box on this one, though. Okay. So there you go. Good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video.